I'm lucky here on The Blend where sometimes you have a great interview with a guest and you just want to talk to them again. It is my lucky day. It's viewers at home's lucky day. Jeremy Swift joining us one more time, catching up with us. Jeremy, it's good to see you. Um, I think first and foremost, though, uh, condolences. I know the world is, of course, mourning the passing of the Queen. And so I know you, of course, are from the UK. So condolences to you as well. Oh, very kind words, yes. Um, well, her reign has just been so incredibly long. Um, you know, she was crowned, you know, when my parents were teenagers. Hmm. Um, so it's, for a lot of people, it's the only figurehead they've, they've ever known, for, you know, for everybody under 70, you know. Um, so um, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a very, very sad day. I know it is. And that's why we're, we're thankful that you are willing to talk with us. And I shared a, a story with you before we got started, how I was loved being able to talk with you before. And of course, so many people see your face and they think of hit shows like Downton Abbey, of course, you know, Ted Lasso. But we were able just to catch a clip there of your music video. I feel like your music career is something that we hadn't been able to talk about. Give people an idea of kind of perhaps the genre you're going through, because I got to tell you, like, it's a really cool sound. Wonderland is, that is. Oh, thank you very much. Um, well, I I don't think of genre when I'm writing stuff. Um, I just think of what the the song is about. Um, but I, you know, I'm going into a kind of pop genre generally speaking. A lot of people think it sounds quite '80s, but that song when I started with it, it the the bottom end of it, the rhythm end of it, sounded quite grime. Um, and I thought, what am I going to do? Because I'm not like a rapper um or a toaster <clears throat> and uh so but it just developed in a different way and um yeah i'm very happy with it that the album will be coming out next year and I, I like to think of it as a kind of um like a collection of short stories or a mixtape you know everything every track has got a sort of slightly different quality um to it but this i, I think it's a big powerful pop song and i hope people get into it and uh we um as you were seeing from the clip, it's um, <laughs> it's quite a wacky, uh, wacky world that has been developed there. <laughs> I like that you described wa wacky world. I wondered how you were going to describe it because, again, watching the video for myself, I feel like what I kind of took away was you're known as an actor, but then being able to have like this creative side, of course, actors, and you're really going to show like your creativity a little bit. Like, are we getting into the kind of mind that you may have, Jeremy? I mean, there's even <laughs> unicorns in the video. I'm happy. And I know my, you know, five-year-old, especially happy to see unicorns pop up. <laughs> um, well, yeah, we, we've got all sorts of stuff going on in that. Yeah, directed and, and put together by these guys called the Hadley Brothers who work in animation quite a lot and uh, are hugely imaginative and um, and they come up with, up with the idea of like inflatable costumes which you know we just had a hoot with uh, <laughs> and uh, you know the, the set is, 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 uh, is fantastic um, so I was very grateful for them to giving it a, a, you know a real visual powerful image I love it. I love it, especially to go with, like I said, the song, which is like a cool vibe. <laughs> like, I just loved it. I love listening to your voice. And it was something, again, that I did not know about you, because right now everybody is associating you with the uh, what record-breaking 20 nominations when it comes to the Emmys, of course, for Ted Lasso. I literally, I don't know why I feel like it's my job, but if people say they haven't seen Ted Lasso yet, like I take it personal almost because it is one of my favorite shows ever. It is such a feel good show, getting ready to catch a new season. What does it mean for you to be a part of this phenomenon, rightfully so? Uh, wow, uh, I'm, I'm still so uh, surprised uh, and, and amazed by its, its pull. You know, it's just particularly in America, <coughs> um, it, it, it's just people have taken to it with such big hearts. And um, I, I'm, I'm very sort of feel honored and privileged to be part of it. You know, I'm 62 and I was just, I was just at the stage of like getting my pipe and slippers out and hoping for, you know, the odd part in Midsummer Murders <laughs> in a worldwide phenomenon show. Now I've got to, I've got to keep up. I've got to keep fit to enjoy it all. 
Uh, can, and I was going to say, can we look ahead, though, of course? I mean, as we get to see, what, 12 episodes, season three, it's supposed to come out at the end of the year, right? I'm, I don't have an actual date for it, but I, I would imagine it's maybe something like that at the beginning of next year. Um, it's a bit above my pay grade, um, but I think it'll be, you know, um, you'll go deeper into the characters. There's a couple of new characters, and the writers are so good at mixing people up and, and pairing, you know, people with different characters. So you get this uh, a new chemistry, you know, uh, f from those pairings. Um, I, I think that the writing is just so ahead of other comedies, um, or certainly ahead of where you think a, it will go, you know. Um, so I, I'm, I'm very excited for people to see it. It is. It's just the best feel-good show. I smile every time I come away from the series. And now I find myself smiling every time I listen to your song. We want to go ahead one more time, end with a clip of Wonderland. Jeremy, I hope you check in with us again. I, I love talking with you, and this was such a treat to have you join us. Got to do that. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> hey, take care and stay well. And again, here is another part of Wonderland. See you uh, soon, I hope, Jeremy. See you. Thank you.